what is up everyone this is somnath gaudar from future coders in this video tutorial we are going to be building this random hex color generator using html css and javascript all right let's see how this app actually works as you can see now we have six boxes with these six random colors when i click on this generate colors as you can see it generates new random colors for each of these boxes all right if i click on it again as you can see it's going to generate new random colors every time i click on this generate colors button so guys this is what we will be building it's going to be a very fun project and it's going to teach you lots of things how to generate random numbers how to generate these hex values you are going to learn lots of things in this video so before we start building this if you are new to this channel please make sure you subscribe to our channel i upload videos on front end development i build responsive websites I upload lots on lots of JavaScript projects, so please make sure you subscribe to our channel. And also, don't forget to smash that like button. All right, now let's start building this. All right, let's start building this. I have already generated the boilerplate of our HTML, and I have added the title as a random hex color generator. I have linked our local CSS file as well as our JavaScript file. As you can see, all right. Let's start with adding our HTML first. First, inside the body, I'm going to have an H1 saying random X color generator. And right after the H1, we are going to have our button saying generate colors. When I click on this button, it's going to generate those random colors. All right. For next thing, which I'll be having is the our colors container. Inside the colors container, I will have a color box. Basically, I will be having six boxes. You can add as many boxes you want. It's going to generate a random hex color for all of those boxes. All right. Uh, Inside the color box, we are going to have an S2. Initially, it's going to say this hex color that's for black color. Similarly, for uh, like this, we are going to have five more of these. Let's paste it. All right, that's it for our HTML part. Now it's time for our CSS. Inside the CSS, let's target everything. First, let's set the font family to monospace. I will reset the default margin and padding being applied by the zero by setting margin to zero and padding to zero. I'll also say box sizing to border box. I'll, since I'm using those buttons, I will set the outline to none and border to none. And let's also add a transition or all 0.2 seconds linear. All right, now let's target our body, whole body. For the body, I will set the background color to this gray color. Let's add a padding of IRM to the top and bottom and 9% to the left and right. Display of flex to center and center everything. Display of flex, flex direction is going to be column. Align items to the center, that's it. Next, let's target uh, this H1 for the H1. Let's add a color of the sex color that is black color font size of 3 rem. Let's increase the font size. We'll also add a margin bottom of 2 rem. Next, I'll be targeting this button for the button. Let's add a background color to this black color. Let's change the text color to white. Padding 1 RM to the top and bottom and 1.5 RM to the left and right. Let's also change the font size or to, in to increase to 1.5 RM. And finally cursor to pointer. So when I, when I hover on the, uh, when I also over on the uh, button it's going to change the cursor to pointer that's it for the button next thing i will be targeting is this colors container which is having these color boxes for the 
colors container i'll be using a flex box here margin top uh, let's add a margin top of 3 rem display of flex align items to the center justify content to the center let's also make the flex wrap of wrap let's also add a gap between those two to rem now we have gap now let's target these h2 that are inside the color box we have the colors container inside the color box we have h2 so let's target that inside the colors container we have the color box and we have s2 for the s2 i will say background color to black and change the color to color to text color to white padding fire rm to the top and bottom fire rm to the left and right let's also add a font to weight of 800 and font size of 2.5 rm all right now let's target the actual color box for the color box i will say background color to white uh, okay well we need to add padding here padding to 1 rm as you can see there we have our padding and our background color white let's also change our border radius of 1 rm so that we have some rounded corners i will also add a box shadow of rgba value of red value of 100 green value 100 blue 1111 alpha value 2.2 0 pixels 7 pixels 29 pixels and 0 pixels all right that's it let's save All right there we have our box shadow being applied all right that's it for our html and css part now it's time for our javascript to do the magic first thing which i'll be doing is getting these colors as you can see we have these colors right that are inside i that are inside these color boxes all these color boxes what i will do is i will use query selector all to select all of these individual colors all right let's first do that first i'll say const i'll say colors document dot query selector all inside the color box we have those s2 now i'm getting uh, access to all of these s2s okay let's actually console log to show you what is happening colors let's open our console over here as you can see now we have a node list of six right as you can see we have s2 s2 as you can see we have this array of uh, list as you can see we have these colors right now i have access to these colors uh, what i want to do is for each of these individual s2s i need to generate a random color and apply the background color to this s2 again here i only need to generate a random color and apply as background color again similar to all of these six items right so for that what i will do is i will create a function saying generate colors inside this function i will use colors dot for each uh, colors dot for each that means inside the colors we have this we have those six colors right colors dot for each means for each of those six individual colors i am going to loop over those first i will get the color this is going to be an arrow function all right for each and individual of these colors what i will do is i will generate a hex code to generate a hex code let's create a variable let hex code first i need to generate a mat.random let's say mat.random this is going to generate a random number let's console log x code and call this function all right let's open up our console as you can see this is generating six random colors as you can see 
there are six S2s and it is generating a random color for each for each of those six colors. That's what it means, guys. All right. Now that we have these numbers, I want hex values. I can convert this x to hex values by saying here to string hexadecimal means 16 right base 16 so if i save that as you can see now we have those hex values guys similarly if i want binary numbers i can say base 2 as you can see now we have binary numbers but i don't want binary numbers i want hex numbers so i will say 16 base 16 that means hex codes so here i will say as you can see now we have those hex codes right six hex codes six colors for the six boxes Basically, you can add how many boxes you want and it's going to generate colors for each of those boxes. All right. So now that we have that, uh, what I want is I only want six colors, right? Hex value is going to be only six, uh, six. Uh, it's going to contain only six values. This, uh, as you can say, this is a short form which I specified here. It's going to be actually contain six values here, as you can see six values like that similarly now we have all of these values right i don't want those all i only want six of these one two three four five six all right up to here i only want those so what i will do is i will add substring i want to start from two to eight what do i mean by that is let's clear out these I want to start from the 2 as you can see this is 1 this is 2 and as you can see it will start from over here excluding the point I want to start from over here up to 8th one so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 up to here all right this is going to be six colors right that's right that's what I mean so let's use sorry for this so let's use substring 2 to 8 as you can see now we have only six values as you can see six values of these hex codes and i also want an hash symbol right as you can see uh, we have an hash symbol over here right what i will do is i'll concatenate the hash symbol over here i need to concatenate it okay as you can see now we have those hex values all right now these hex values can be used to apply the background color so here what i will do is i will set for each color i will change our style and background color to whatever the hex code is whatever the hex code we have generated not get elements by class name i mean style as you can see now we have those colors guys and i also want to display the hex value over here what i will do is color dot inner html equal to hex code as you can see now we have are displaying the uh, hex value as well as we are applying that color to this background color as you can see the one final thing that is left now is if i click on generate color it should generate a new random colors for that what i will do is let's head over here and i will add an on click and i will call that function whenever i click on this i will call this function generate colors that's it guys as you can see if i click on this it's going to generate new random colors every time i click on this all right guys hope you guys enjoyed and hope you guys learned something from this video so that's it guys for this video make sure you subscribe to my channel and also don't forget to leave a like on this video make sure you also check out my other javascript projects which i'll be linking down on the in the description box below so please make sure you check those videos also to learn to learn and build more javascript projects so that's it guys for this video i will see you in the next one thank you for watching Thank mm -hmm. you.